by Mr. Projects. So in this video, I'm just gonna give you a quick rundown of what's gonna happen. So the engine bay's been painted, as you've seen in the last video. I've made a catch can, it's been painted. I didn't get that on film, I got a little bit. I'll add some clips in in a, in a minute. There wasn't really much. And uh, that's my old catch can, which is gonna be my power steering uh, reservoir from now on. So that's pretty much all I've done in the bay. Painted a couple of things, that's about it. Engine, I've ordered all the parts because I'm not going oversize. I'm, uh, we've measured all the bores, all the bores came up to be 86 mil, there's no play. So it is really hard to find 86 mil forged pistons. Australia don't sell them. I ordered them through Golby's. They said they can't get them anymore. So I've gone through an eBay seller which has now sourced them from America and they have to be custom made so it's going to take two weeks to uh, get these pistons but at the end of the day I can go and get this board out the half a mil oversize but it's going to cost pretty much the same as getting these pistons made so I'm just going to get the pistons made they're coming um, waiting on all the other parts whole new inner cooler kits coming just because I've blocked up all the old holes and so we're going to run new in a cooler. We're going to put all that in the video anyway. And that's pretty much where we're at. So today, we're making a catch can. So I've made a template up. I skipped that part. Now we've got it onto some aluminium. We've folded it up. Now we're going to go and see old mate and he's going to tick it up. some VHT high temperature wrinkle plus and I hit it with a few coats of that I did put primer on it and uh, this is what the finished product looks like and that's the finished product a couple of hours work middle template coat of paint it's looking pretty flash Just arrived home from work and uh, had a bit of a delivery. We've got our pistons in, our CP pistons. It's a bit hard with one hand. Got all the rings, everything underneath here. Brand spankers, forged pistons. So this afternoon, I think we are going to gap all the rings, put the pistons on the rods, put them back into the block. Get this show underway.
work and waiting and paying for parts, but it's all done. Last thing to do is I just got to wire it up and uh, kick it over. Still got to make any cool piping. But I thought I'd wrap the video up about here because I know everybody's been waiting like, I think it's been about a month or something like that since my last upload. But I hope you enjoyed the video and stay tuned for uh, updates and hopefully I'll get a few videos of the dyno. I will upload a video once the car's running. I'll try and get some videos of doing all the intercooler piping. But give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.